Hi everybody, welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope you're doing good this morning. I slept a little late again, but I need the rest. I really do. I was up late. Okay. On a prayer request, Joy Tucker's daughter-in-law passed away after a long battle with cancer. Pray for Joy and the family. She was 57. Karina's sister Laura is still the same. She continues to be helped to stay alive with an ECMO machine. But she's still in critical condition. Beth would like us to pray for warmer weather. Yannette Cortez is having some heart and severe stomach issues. Pray she'll get better. And Diane Parker's power came back on. Colleen's friend Jeff tests have been postponed until Monday. We'll pray all goes well. Prayer is needed for Amy, a frugal mommy. She's in the burn hospital in the ICU. Sparkles Hope Chess lives in Texas. She has no water and no way to get out and get some. Pray she gets help. Mimi and her family lives in Texas and have no power or water. Pray they'll be okay. I pray for all the people in Texas and Louisiana that have no power or water. And also, uh, there's a lot of people in Ohio that have had problems. Beth and Carmen have no water and no way to get out. And no, there's no gas at the gas station. Kim loves Artie's friends. Kim's cousin passed away. Uh, she didn't die alone, which is good. Pray for her and uh, pray for her family. Tweets needs prayer that her blood sugar will go down so she doesn't have to go on medication. All right. Our scripture of the day comes from 2 Timothy 2, 1 through 4. Okay. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ Jesus, and the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, and trust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. Today's devotion is entitled, Strengthened by Grace. During the American Civil War, the penalty for desertion was execution. But the Union armies rarely executed deserters because their commander-in-chief, Abraham Lincoln, pardoned nearly all of them. This infuri infuriated, infuriated <laughs> Edwin Stanton, the Secretary of War, who believed that Lincoln's leniency only enticed would-be deserters. But Lincoln empathized with soldiers who had lost their nerve and who had given in, in to their fear in the heat of battle. And his empathy endeared him to his soldiers. They loved their father Abraham, and their affection led the soldiers to want to serve Lincoln all the more. When Paul calls Timothy to join him in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus, he calls him to a tough job description. A soldier is to be completely dedicated, hardworking, and selfless. He is to serve his commanding officer, Jesus, wholeheartedly. But in reality, we sometimes fail to be his good soldiers. We don't always serve him faithfully. And so Paul's opening phrase is important. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Our Savior is full of grace. He empathizes with our weaknesses and forgives our failures. And just as the Union soldiers were encouraged by Lincoln's compassion, so believers are strengthened by the grace of Jesus. We want to serve him all the more because we know he loves us. 
How can the grace of Christ become a source of strength for you to serve him? What does it mean for you to suffer for Jesus? Dear God, please strengthen me in the grace of Christ that I may serve him faithfully. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I couldn't get that one word. It's infuriated. I don't know why. I just had it just didn't look right or something when I was trying to read it. That happens every now and then. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that <laughs> so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I don't know uh, uh, what all I got going on. I hadn't had time to even look at anything. Uh, I don't think I have enough for enough. No, I know I don't have enough for another Ask My Tablet yet. Um, but I, I probably work on another Kitty's Corner because we've got several other guest hosts that we need to get in the program. So uh, do that, and I don't know what else yet. So it looks, uh, it's not as dreary as it's been out there, but it looks like it snowed or something a little bit, but it's not much. Uh, so. If it's warm enough, I'll get out there and walk. And also, I know one thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be making chili. So there'll be a Chef Mike's uh, cook with Chef Mike today, which I haven't done in about a year. So uh, I look forward to doing that with y'all, for y'all, and uh, check it out later on. So everybody, I'll see you a little later, later on. God bless.